Hello guys, my name is Jahin, if you know, and I'm back with another chapter of BGS. And I hope you all if you're fine, and I'm also fine at the grace of Allah. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so our chapter number is chapter 11, and the name is Ethnic Groups in Bangladesh. Okay, our chapter has five lessons, I saw it. And uh, the first lesson is Dagaro. Okay, guys, I will say one thing that this whole chapter, if we can know it from the name, that is whole chapter is about the ethnic groups in Bangladesh. Uh, in Bangladesh, it's called Nrigoshti. We know it as Nrigoshti. Okay, so let's start our lesson one, the Garo. The Garo originally migrated from Tibet in about 4,500 years ago and settled in, uh, in the hilly country language. Their native language is Achik religion their original religion was sangsarek but most are now christians and celebrate christian festivals society society garo originally traditionally garo society is traditionally matriarchal which means that the mother is the head of the household and the women inherit the family property food the garo diet is like that of most other bangladeshis meat fish rice and different type of vegetables their specialty is cooking specialty is cooking with the stem of soft bamboo housing they used to build special long houses called nakmandi by the river banks but now their houses are like any other built of um, corrugated iron or other materials cloths the women traditionally wear dogbanda or dokshari. The men wear shirt lungi and dhoti. Festival. The traditional festival is called Wangala in October or November. It is dedicated to the sun and the gods as long who give fertility to the soil. The festival is celebrated with drums and flutes. Okay, time to discuss the page. Uh, the Garo has migrated from Tibet. I think you know where Tibet is in Nepal and they migrated from uh, Tibet and they migrated about 4,500 years ago and they have settled in our country on the hilly places here uh, is the oh ho sorry again guys as you can see in the map that they have settled in the hilly places okay here you can see Garo see Tangail and my man sing between the, okay it's a hilly place and they have settled here okay guys they are about in this page about the garo every the lifestyle of garo has been given their language name is achik their religion is sangsarek but most of the garos are now christian and they celebrate the festivals of christian as well society the name of the society of garo is matriarchal and this means that the mother is the head of their house and women inherit the family property women means the, uh, inherit means that they take that they are they becomes the owner of the family's property food uh, the garo's food uh, food system is like most of other bangalis it means that their food system is like the bangalis of uh, the bangalis of bangladesh they especially eat rice fish and different types of vegetables their specialty in cooking is cooking with stem of soft bamboo okay housing they build very special long houses the name of that house is nokmandi and this is built by the river banks but now their houses are like any others built of corrugated iron or other material okay clothing the Women of Garo wear Dogbanda or Dogshari. The men of Garo wear Shart Lungi and Dhoti. Okay, festival. Their festival name is Wangala and it's celebrated in October or November. It is dedicated to the sun and the god Sazlong who give fertility to the soil. Uh, this, uh, this festival is mainly for the sun and uh, to worship their god named Sazlong. Uh, they believe that the gods of long give fertility to soil. And this festival is celebrated with drums and flutes. I think you have understand the lesson. If not, then write it in the comment box. <laughs> okay, let's go to page number uh, 
this uh, second lesson the kashi the kashi lived mainly insulated in what was a former kingdom called jayanta language like the garo their language is spoken and not written it is called monkheme society also like garo their society is matriarchal but the youngest daughter inherits the family property they are an agricultural society which specializes in growing betel leaf and cultivating bees food the main food of kashi are rice made di- uh, di- dried fish honey however they consider betel leaf betel leaves very sacred they welcome their guests with betel leaves and nut and tea clothing the girls wear a blouse called kazimpin the men wear shirts and lungis called fangomarung religion nikashi worship several gods among whom the father is oblay nangtao creator of the art festival dance and music accompany accompany their festival their puja wedding festival drought and flood <coughs> okay time to discuss the chapter with you okay in this page as you can understand it's about the lifestyle of kashi people kashi is also another people uh, another nigoshti another ethnic group like the garos okay the kashi mainly live in silet in what was the former kingdom called jayanta in silet there is a former kingdom called jayanta and they mainly live here <laughs> their language is like garos garos and kashi's language is spoken and not written there is no written form of this language and the name of their language is monkheme kashi's language okay society of kashi is also like garos it's matriarchal but the young as you know that in garo the women uh, it becomes the owner of family here the youngest daughter of garo family becomes the owner of property their Uh, their society is mainly agricultural based society the the speciality of their society is in is in growing betel leaves and cultivating bees betel leaves food their main food of uh, the main, their main food is dried fish meat honey However, they think betel leaf very sacred and very pavitra. They welcome their guests with betel leaf and nut. Betel leaf means pan. Betel leaf, nuts, and tea. Clothing. The girls of Kashi wear kazimpin, which is a blouse, and the men wear shirts and lungi. The name of the shirt is fongo, and the name of lungi is maru. Okay, religion of Kashi is uh, the religion of Kashi. The Kashi worship several gods. The father of those god is Ublay Nangtao. They think that Ublay Nangtao is the creator of the art festival. Dance and music accompany their festival. Their festivals are their uh, puja, wedding, drought and flood. Okay, let's go to our next lesson. I hope you understand this. Okay, the name is the Mro This is three more. The Mro are one of the Jumma groups who live in different upazilas of Bang- Bandarban district near the border with Myanmar. Language. Mro- the Mro language is called Mru. It is written as well as spoken. UNESCO have called it an ingarden language. Religion. Most Mro are Buddhist. In the past, their traditional religion was Torai, with a sect called Krama. Some of them have also accepted Christianity. Society. The head of the family is the father, and the society has a village-based organization. Housing. Mro houses are called kim. They are built with bamboo walls and platform and a straw roof. Food. The mro eat rice, dried fish, and meat. Their speciality is a kind of fish paste called nappi. Clothing. The women often wear a dark blue cloth called wangalai. The men wear a strip of cloth called lengti. Festival. Mro, the Mro celebrate births, wedding, and deaths. When children reach three years, there is a ritual to pierce their ear. 
Okay. Let me introduce you. Like Garo and Kashi, this is also an ethnic group named Moro. Moro is one of Juma group. There is a group called Juma. I think you have heard about this. There, the Moro are a, a part of that group. They live in different upazilas of Bandarban district near the border with Myanmar. Okay, their language is called Mu. This language is not like Garo and uh, <coughs> Kashi. It's this is also spoken and also written. UNESCO have called it an endangered, endangered language. It means that it can be end in some time. This language cannot be used uh, for long time. Okay, religion. Uh, the most of the Mu are Buddhist. In past, the traditional religion was Torai. The sect uh, of Torai was called Krama. Some of them have also accept Christianity. Okay, let's come to the society. Their head of family is uh, fathers of their family is patriarchal, and the society have a village-based organization. Okay, this society is mainly village. They are village-based. Their organization of society is a village-based housing. The house of Mro are called Kim. These houses are built with bamboo walls and platform and a straw roof. Their food is fish, meat, uh, dried fish, meat, and rice. Their food specialty is a kind of fish paste called nappi cloth. The women of uh, the row wear a blue cloth, dark blue cloth. It's called wanglai. The men wear a strip of cloth called linki. Festival. The Mro celebrate births, I mean birthday, wedding, which marriage day, and death. And when the children of Mro reach three years, when the age is three years old, it is a rule, a ritual, to pitch their ear. Pitch means to uh, make a. It means that, which, <coughs> with needle their ears are pitch. Uh, what was the same thing in Bangla? Or their, uh, their ear has to be photo korte hoy their ear er modde. Here you can see the picture from Moro family. Okay, time to start lesson 4. The Tripura. The Tripura are another ethnic group in Chittagong. They are the third largest group there after the Chakma and Marma. They are originally from the state of Tripura in Northeast India language. The Tripura language is Kogborok. Society. The Tripura people live in a collective group called uh, Dafa. There are a total 36 Dafa, 16 in Bangladesh and 20 in Indian state of Tripura. It is a patriarchal society, but boys may inf- inherit from fathers and girls from mother. Religion. The Tripura are a Hindu people worshipping Shiva and Kai, Kali, <laughs> but they also have their own god like Kher who protects the village house their house were raised up on stair <coughs> clothing women's wear rinai and on their lower half and risa above they wear plenty of beads and earrings called uh, natong natong the men wear dhoti towels lungi and shirts festival the tripura celebrate birth wedding and death Boishu is a New Year f- celebration when they visit the villages and wear flower in their hair. Okay, time to discuss this page. Tripura is also another ethnic group <coughs> and they live in mainly Chittagong. They are the largest uh, ethnic group after the Chakma and Marma. <coughs> okay guys, three largest ethnic group are Chakma, Marma and Tripura. And Tripura is third. They are only the Tripura is originally from Tripura in North Asia, Northeast India. I think you know there is a place Tripura in India, and this Tripura ethnic group are from that place. Tripura's language is Kokborok. Kokborok. Their society, they uh, they live in a collective group. They are living, the society is in a, the society style is like this, they live in groups and there are, uh, these groups are known, uh, called Dafa. There are total 36 Dafa, I mean 36 or 36 groups. The 16 groups are in Bangladesh and 20 groups are in Indian state of Tripura. 
uh, as you know that there is a state tripura in india tripura uh, is a patriarchal society tripura has a patriarchal society it means that father is the head of their society but boys may inherit from fathers as you know and girls from mother girls can do it from mother religion uh, the tripura are mainly hindu people if they are from india they worship shiva and kali but they also have their own god like one is care they think that care protects the village <coughs> houses their houses are raised up on stair clothing the women <coughs> wear above risai rinai and they wear in um, in lower part they wear rinai and on the upper part they wear risa there were plenty of beads and earrings called nato the men wear dhoti towels lungi and shirts <coughs> festival the tripura celebrate mainly birthday marriage day and death they also celebrate new year's festival which is known as boishu to them when they and in this festival they village uh, visit villages wearing f- flowers in their hair mainly the girls do it i hope you understand this page now i'll go to page number in uh, 90 it's the last lesson of this chapter lesson 5 the orang the orang live in the northwest of bangladesh in rajshahi rangpur and dinajpur language there are two different groups of orang who speak language called kurukh and sadri society their village council is headed by headed by a mahto the regional council is called a pahta representing several village religion their main god is called dharmes who is believed to be the creator of this universe they also believe in spirits that are called upon to heal diseases festival among the among other their main festival is fangwa which is celebrated on the last day of falgun cloth the men wear dhoti lungi trousers and shirt the women wear sarees and blouses made of coarse cotton cloth food the main food of around is rice they also eat maize wheat to fish meat and a variety of vegetable okay the time to uh, discuss the last lesson <coughs> which is the around <coughs> around is also another ethnic groups like the other one they live in the northwest part of bangladesh mainly in rajshahi rangpur and dinajpur they uh, the around has two group the two groups speak in two language kuruk and sadri their society is headed by a council their village council is headed by a mahto a mahto and their regional council is called pahta representing several village it has several village that village council has several village i mean have village have religion their main god is called dharmesh they believe that dharmesh is the creator of the universe they also believe in spirit those spirits are called to heal diseases festival yeah, they have <coughs> lots of festival but their main festival is fangwa this is celebrated on the last day of falgun clothes the men wear dhoti lungi trouser and shirts the women of forown wear sarees and blouses made of coarse cloth the around mainly eat rice <coughs> they also eat maize wheat fish meat and variety of vegetable okay guys i hope you understand the whole chapter and this lesson too if any problem about this chapter please write it in the comment box any question then please write it in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't forget to like this video okay i will now i will give you some important tips okay first one is <coughs> the garo you have to learn all these points the language religion society food housing clothing festival all for the psc all the full page you have to learn and also this thing this line <coughs> they <coughs> excuse me <coughs> they migrated in bangladesh about 4500 years ago and here see c extent The Garo were beaten in a battle by British in 1872. The Garos had only had spear, whereas British had gun. 
द गारो हिरो ऑफ द टेमर टोगन नेंगमिंगजा एंड सोनाराम संगमा यू हैव टू लर्न दिस एंड खासी आई थिंक आई थिंक यू नो वर्ड आई विल से यू हैव टू लर्न होल पेज फॉर योर पी सी एंड सी इन हेयर सी एक्सटेन दिज अ फोटो ऑन बॉन लॉगिंग ऑन ट्वेंटी टू थाउजेंड एट and it can a question can come when did the kashi went for bone logging here 2008 i can again i will say you have to memorize the whole page and here you can see this is the picture of the mro house tripura i think you, i know what you, you know what i will say this page also you have to learn whole and also this page whole page okay guys this is to this is you have to memorize it this was my teaching this was my uh, <coughs> lecture and it's done i hope you will be fine and i hope god will help you to recover the coronavirus situation i will request you to stay home stay safe assalamu alaikum